Okay, powering a pulverizer. First thing we're going to do is lay down the pulverizer. I'm going to assume you've got one of these. And our energy input is going to be on the blue side, and our material outputs are red and yellow. Now, I would also recommend making a wrench. They're very useful. Three iron ingots and one stone gear. And a stone gear is just a wooden gear, surround it with cobblestone, and you get a stone gear, put that right here, three iron ingots, and you get a wrench. Wrenches are very useful. If you have machines set up, you can hold down left shift and right click with the wrench and grab everything. So. Here we've got our pulverizer. First thing we're going to do is make a steam engine. Steam engines do not put out a lot of power, but they're very easy to make. Three copper ingots on the top, two copper gears, a piston, and a redstone transmission coil. Redstone transmission coil is very easy to make. One silver, two redstone, and these copper gears are made differently than the stone gears as you put four copper ingots surrounding one iron ingot. So that's basically it. Once you create the steam engine you put it down and I'm going to grab some coal. These are powered using coal. We'll throw coal in there and then we're going to need water because the steam engine will run if it has fuel and water to cool it. So we'll throw four water buckets in there and you basically right click on it with the water bucket in your hand and it fills it up. You can see it. Each one of these red lines is the equivalent to one water bucket. So now our steam our pulverizer is being powered up. We'll go ahead and throw some iron ore in there. And there it goes. Now you can take a chest and put it on the red output of the pulverizer. And this will automatically send to the chest. There you go. You can also put a chest on the yellow output because pulverizers have a secondary item that they can create. Iron makes iron dust and it also makes ferrous dust, pulverized ferrous. So that's basically it. And you just need to keep your steam engine full of coal and full of water and it will power your pulverizer for as long as you need. Now I do recommend creating magmatic engines after you start getting more materials magmatic engines are a bit more difficult to create because they need invar which is created using two iron dust and one pulverized ferrous to make invar blend then you cook it to make invar ingots and then you make invar gears the same way iron in the middle invar all the way around invar on top and a redstone transmission coil and a piston. So magmatic engines are created the same way as steam engines just with a bar instead of copper. So this is pumping along. You can see we've got a whole bunch of pulverized iron and now we've got some pulverized ferrous. Secondary item from pulverizing iron. And there you go. One thing that I forgot to tell you is uh, how to power the magmatic engine. So let's get rid of the steam engine. And I went in, grabbed some magmatic engines, throw one down there. And if you look in here, you can see that there's no area for a solid fuel. Like with the steam engine, there was coal. Instead, there's just a fluid repository. So 
what you need to power a magmatic engine is lava. So I'll go ahead and grab some lava and throw it in just like the water with the steam engine. And you can see it's full. Now, the nice thing about these two engines is that they won't explode. You can let them sit here. Um, but if this ends up finishing the pulverizer and this engine is continuing to put out energy, it may stall. And if it does stall, you'll see black smoke rising from it. All you have to do then is whack it with the, the wrench. By whack it, I mean right click. And it'll start right back up. So that's about it.